in this video, I'm going to show how to uh, take off uh, transformers using Red Rhino software with PlanSwift takeoff software. Now, on the screen here is a single line diagram of an estimate or a job. I have the plans open. Now, you can't tell by looking at this video, but there's a third. I have these plans on a 32 inch monitor, okay? So it looks real big in my world on top of my desk, okay? Now, the thing that makes Red Rhino so fast is you can use our assemblies or download our assemblies and products into Red Rhino. I'm going to show you this just real quick. So I'm going to count this, just this one transformer. I'm going to import it into Red Rhino. I'm actually going to use a transformer assembly. And I'll show you the outcome. This is super fast and easy. So I'm going to click on commercial here for assemblies. I'm going to go down to transformer assemblies. Now we just have a handful of transformer assemblies here, but the ones we have are lightning fast. I'm going to select seal tight. Now, this is a 75 kVA transformer. I'm just going to select that one. I'm going to digitize this little green dot and count it on screen. I'll show you that. Okay, so I digitized the transformer, and it just put a little red symbol, a red diamond on the transformer to show that it's been counted. When I look at these plans again, I'll see that I've counted that item, so I don't count them twice. Okay, now I'm going to actually just import that, or I should say export that, back into Red Rhino, and I'll show you what it does. Really cool. Now I opened up my plan so I have to show this screen. You notice that there's panels in here. I did a different demonstration and showed how to use Rhino for taking off panels, but we see the transformer assembly is here. Now you just use the, what's called the Red Rhino connector to import this product or the products you've taken off on screen back into Red Rhino. I'll show you what that's going to do. I just highlight the item, which in this case is just the transformer assembly, and I have the Plan, Plan Swift connector open, which talks between Plan Swift and Red Rhino, and I, I'm just going to click on the export takeoff button. Now, when I do, it, in this category, or I should say column, it shows that that item is exported, so you don't try and export them twice. Now, I'm going to show you a screenshot of Red Rhino and how how uh, what it input into Red Rhino. Okay, now I'm in an estimate or showing an estimate in Red Rhino, and this is the materials that was input to Red Rhino from PlanSwift for that transformer um, assembly. Now, I know this is a lot of information. I'm just going to explain this. Long story short is what it, what it displays here is the labor for the transformer. See this transformer 75 kVA? Now, you have to get that transformer quoted and input your quote into Red Rhino, but it shows the labor only for the transformer. But here's what else it input. We see mounting hardware here, mounting hardware material, $50. So it added $50 for mounting hardware. Um, it also added lugs to the um, assembly. Also line and load side seal tight. You'll see here that there's um, there's six feet of seal tight, both line and load side. Here's two inch seal tight, okay? So it added a seal tight connector and a seal tight 90 for the line sewed and the, line, lo the load side and conductors, okay? Down here we see the conductors that it's added. Now I know this is a lot of information to try and gather on a video, but long story short is when you use the Red Rhino assemblies in PlanSwift, it's super fast. This just input everything needed for a transformer up to six feet of line and load side conductors, again, including lugs, okay? So, so again, that's what makes this so fast using Red Rhino with PlanSwift. And again, that is that you you can use the Red Rhino product catalog and assembly catalog in PlanSwift for takeoff. Okay, that's it for this video.